19-year-old Elina can finally hug her mother. The girl was operated on a month ago. I really like nurses and doctors. I really feel like they're my own family, but still I miss my mother, my relatives. This video was shot just before the operation. Two years of struggle with myeloid leukemia were unsuccessful for the girl. Only bone marrow transplantation could save her life. The health tests showed that Alina's relatives couldn't become donors. Until then, unrelated grafts were not used in Ukraine. As soon as we found out that we need an operation and it is impossible to do it here in Ukraine, we started looking for an opportunity abroad because we had to save our child. I contacted one Turkey clinic, we held a consultation, and they announced me the sum we just couldn't afford. The treatment abroad would have cost 200,000 US dollars. 100,000 could have been allocated from the state budget. The rest of the money the relatives had to find somewhere. But they were offered to undergo an operation in Ukraine, free of charge. The operation itself lasts no more than an hour, but it is more difficult to find a donor. In addition, patients endure the preparatory stage for transplantation in different ways. Chemotherapy is so powerful that it kills the patient's bone marrow once and for all. If the bone marrow is regenerated after chemotherapy, after the so-called conditioning, it dies to make a room for a new healthy bone marrow. A month after the operation, the girl is feeling well and is getting ready to start a new life. We were worrying, sometimes even panicking. We prepared passports for traveling abroad. We were to go to another country, and when the opportunity appeared to get treatment here at home in my native country, I was incredibly happy. I was not afraid, and I trusted the doctors. In Ukraine, such transplants have become possible due to amendments in legislation. Operations are paid for from the state budget. For the next year, the budget, which the government supported yesterday, provides an increase in the amount of more than 27 million US dollars for transplantation in Ukraine. We have also allocated 10 million dollars to purchase laboratory equipment and make a two-level laboratory network in order to do all the laboratory research required. The Minister of Health plans to expand the transplant area. More than 40 medical centers in Ukraine have already joined the pilot project. Reported by Vadim Kramer and Olga Harchenko, UATV News.